years ago. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind uh, that the Northwest substation was already approved by the voters. And no one's asking for three new substations, and the police department's not asking for a new training academy. And if they did, I imagine there would be a bond that would pay for that. So that's not what we're talking about. That's why this cost estimate is ridiculous and not serious. But for us, again, it's a question of can we afford the same number, roughly, of police officers that we had two years ago? That's all we're asking for. And yes, we can afford it. It's 5% of the discretionary fund, the so-called general fund. That's all it is. And so what they're not telling you is they want to keep funding all the causes on the far left that they've been, fun been funding the last few years. They just put $179 million into homelessness over the last three years. Did they talk about cutting fire because of that? Of course not. Now they're talking about spending $515 million on homelessness the next three years. Have they talked about cutting fire because of that? No. Today they spent, I think it was 6 or $7 million on rental assistance. They, did they have to cut fire because of that, Bill? No. They do whatever they want. They never cut spending on anything. But now when we ask for enough police officers to make sure our city is safe for everyone who lives here, they say we don't have enough money. It's ridiculous. Voters know it, and that's why Prop A is going to pass on November 2nd.